Hey, how's everyone doing? Um, I hope you're well. I am Gato Piloto, and uh, I've been asked to do a review of the PXM V9. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, you can see it in front of me, and I'm just going to go ahead and dive into it. So, okay, this is the setup. This is the racing wheel, uh, and it comes with the shifter, and it comes with the pedals. For dimensions, uh, those pedals right now extended like that. That's about 15 inches on the side, 15 inches of length, and then about 5 inches uh, up there. Um, this, I don't know, must be like almost almost a foot. Um, so, uh, you can see that I didn't mount it directly on my desk. I am pretty short. I'm 5'6", and having it on the desk just feels like I'm driving this truck. It was it was just very uncomfortable. So what I did is I went ahead and mounted it on something else. I just made it so that it's lower and it feels much more natural. And I really like this kind of setup here because it, it really does feel like I'm in the cockpit. Um, so this is kind of like a first impressions review because I um, haven't had it for long. I've had it for about three days. <laughs> and you also have to know that I'm coming from flight simulation. So that's mainly what I do. Um, I play a lot of DCS, Digital Combat Simulator. You can check my other videos on that. I have some playlists on me um, doing that. And uh, I also like Microsoft Flight Sim. And the thing about flight simulation is you don't have as much feedback as you do with, with these uh, peripherals. And I bought this kind of on a whim because I have to also review this Yaw VR. Um, I'm waiting because it arrived broken, but the Yaviar people were amazing. They automatically, or as soon as I uh, wrote them, they told me they were going to get back to me with a new shell at no cost. So I'm waiting for that to happen. But basically I bought that and I said, hey, I'm going to have all that uh, motion simulation. I might as well try some of the racing simulators like Rally 2.0, Rally Dirt 2.0, uh, which I recommend very highly uh, I am addicted to that now so I kinda bought this on a whim just because I said I I wanted to try motion simulation for racing sims uh, and it ended up being the funnest thing that I've had as far as peripherals go because of the feedback that it has the force feedback uh, you really do feel like you're driving through um, you know like rough patches of dirt and it, it's not all the same it, it's changing so like uh, having the wheel give you different kinds of feedback that's where a lot of it comes from and then also the game that you play I find um, the audio and how they record that um, plays a lot into it so things I've noticed uh, I really like the the 900 degree mode on this it feels super realistic um, you know I'm not like a, a excellent racing driving or whatever but I used to I used to fuck around um, so I try to calibrate this setup, how I felt, conditions on the road myself, how I've done a little racing myself, and you can get it pretty honed in. Uh, I don't know how much resolution these pedals have. It's not a whole lot. Um, or maybe I just haven't found out how to do the, the, the settings well on dirt. Um, but they're, they're good enough, man. They, they really, I, I got it to where it feels like a real clutch and a real throttle. And the braking is just what I'm not sure right I've never actually used a supercar so I don't know if they're just that touchy um, as far as the shifting goes it takes me back to the day man I you could teach somebody how to drive shift with this it feels really realistic um, so I really like that it comes with a little handbrake that you can use there I don't map it for dirt rally because in dirt rally you have to hold it pressed and this doesn't count as holding it pressed you need an actual button for that so I mapped this button um, so, yeah, so far, as, as, as far as three days go, super highly recommend it uh, to everybody. It's, it's really, really fun and uh, a really great investment. And, uh, yeah, stick around. Also, uh, if you like this video, I'll make another one of how I, I do set it up on Dirt Rally because uh, I realized the one I had before isn't that descriptive and doesn't show you any of the steps so uh, maybe I'll put a little card here uh, and if you like my videos please subscribe